What's up, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and we're going to continue working on our project uh, using Phoenix Kage Disu's Alpha ABS uh, battle system. So in this particular episode, we're going to mainly take a look at some new items, but then we're going to go over some of the changes to the project and some extra stuff for those of you who are actually interested in watching uh, the evolution of this uh, uh, battle system game. So uh, the first thing I want to show you are the simple basic things you're going to need in your, your game. Your HP potion, your MP potion. So I've already added those. Sorry about that. I've already added those to uh, the game here. So we've got a vial of empowerment, which is our HP potion. It's got a 15 second cooldown. It's going to restore 400 HP. We got our basic MP potion. It's going to restore 100 MP. Same thing, 15 second cooldown. So let's take a look at those in game. We press 7. We're going to restore our HP. We press 8, we're going to restore our um, our MP, HP and MP. Uh, also need to change that animation so that it's not a screen, it's uh, centered. Um, let's take a look at the next couple of items. So then we have what you'd expect, a TP uh, generation, uh, maybe not generation, the TP uh, granting uh, item. The moon cake is going to give you 50 TP, similar to a potion. But then we've got one interesting one for you guys. Uh, this is the Wicked Tonic. It's going to basically apply a state that gives you uh, haste. And what the haste is going to do, it's going to shave off one second from your, uh, your attack uh, delay, which is going to make you uh, attack faster. It's also going to give you one to your move speed, so it's going to basically double how fast you move around on the map. It's going to last for 30 seconds, and it's going to have a cooldown of one minute. Um, so we'll take a look at that real quick. So if we walk around, you can see our speed. If we hold shift, like I've shown in previous uh, episodes, it, it doesn't do anything. Even if we toggle our dash on or off, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, speed is determined by another way. <clears throat> so we'll look at our attack speed. We target it. We press A. We go into attack mode. This is our charge counter. So with 180 uh, weapon speed on the sword, it takes three seconds for it to fully charge up and get to uh, the ability to swing. So let's go ahead and use this last item. All right, so now we're moving around faster. You can see that we have a state that lasts 30 turns, but a turn is the second in this system. So if we go up to this ooze, we go into attack mode, you can see that our bar is filling up a lot faster. Instead of three seconds, it's two seconds now. So that's what that uh, item does. Um, I'll, I'm gonna jump straight to those items before showing you everything else that this game, uh, that I've put into this game and the map system that I'm, I'm sort of using. Uh, that way it's sort of direct those who want to see the new additions and tutorials can see that before I rant on about things that I'm going to do, what I've been doing. Alright, so those items, let's look at the note tags. I'm sure this is the most important part. Uh, for the healing potion, for any item you want to be instant, you're going to put in ABS and then a colon and then zero. So that's saying that this item is going to be used in the action battle system when you put the ABS in the map. And it's going to... Uh, happen basically as soon as you click the item or, or press the button it's going to go but it, then it's going to have a cooldown in order to specify how long you want that cooldown to be you'll put in the note tag reload time capital t on time and then a colon and then a number after that the number is going to correlate to how many frames you want to pass before it uh is able to be used again so if we want it to be 15 seconds and we know that there's 60 frames in a second we just go 15 times 60 that's going to give us 900 so now that we've got 900 um in our reload time it's going to take 15 seconds before the player can use this item again uh, you can do this two ways you can go to hp recover put in the number right here or if you want to put a uh, use a variable to determine how much potion how much healing you're going to get so you have an alchemy skill and the better you are with these uh alchemy alchemical uh, uh items the fa the more it's going to give so you can put a variable in there by just doing like you know variable whatever and that'll call on the the variable to to restore make sure you you initialize those variables first by setting them to an, a value before they're being called um, but you could do that either way uh, after you've got this copy paste it because all we're going to do is change the the wrapper we're just going to change the icon the name and the description and then the effect to from hp to mp whatever method you've gone with th the same thing's applying right here obviously you can change this stuff around if you want it to be 10 second cooldown change the 900 to 600 and you got 10 seconds really simple do the same thing, uh, copy paste it for the moon cake. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you could call it whatever you want, obviously. Um, 
One thing to note is you have to set the occasion to battle screen, otherwise you won't be able to use it on the bar. Now, if you want it to be where you have to go to your menu to use, you can say use anywhere, but it, you won't be able to set it to your hot bar at the bottom of the screen um, when you're on an ABS map if you don't set it to battle screen. The scope on these is going to be the user, and we're going to say yes, they're consumable, otherwise one item will be able to be used over and over and over. Uh, set this to gain TP instead of HP or MP. Uh, give it whatever animation you want. I need to assign an animation, which I will probably change later, but we're just going to set it to that for now. Um, then we're going to use the same note tags for that. Um, let's look at the Wicked Tonic that I showed you. Uh, this is going to be doing something slightly different, but basically the same. We're setting the note tags ABS0 so that it's instant. The reload time is 3600 because 60 uh, frames a second, 60 seconds, that's 60 times 60, giving us 3600 for a one minute cooldown timer. <clears throat> and this one, we're going to have it add a state. So before you really know what state to add, you're going to have to make that state. So let's hop over to the states in the database. Uh, so here's our state called Hasted. And we're going to give it whatever priority we want. If you want it to be this icon to show above the player's head, all you have to do is give this 90 or higher, and then it'll show uh, the icon above. Also, you can use SV overlays if you would like to uh, show show something else that you're uh, show an SV overlay while you're under the effects of this state. So let's just give it one for example. I'll probably change. Um, so now. In order to determine how long you want a state to last, you have to uh, do turn end or action end. But turn end is going to be a set number. So if I want thir I want the state to last for 30 seconds, I'll give it uh, 30 turns. So one turn is equivalent to 60 frames, which will be one second. So we go to the note tags. It says um, it's going to, to take 60 seconds for it to be reusable once it's used, but it's only going to last for 30 seconds. So that's going to give uh, the player... Uh, some <clears throat> some challenge on when he wants to use this he or she wants to use this item besides just spamming it every time. Uh, in order to make the character move around faster, we have to apply a note tag. States currently only have one note tag in the ABS system, and that is the speed note tag. So in our greater than less than signs, we're going to type in speed with a colon and then the number one. So you can, um, by default, our characters are set to a speed of three that moves us around. So if we say speed one, that's not a set. This is adding. So we're, we're actually turning our speed into four by uh, being under the effects of the state. So we can also do a subtraction. So if we wanted to do minus one, that would slow the character down from a speed of three into a speed of two. Um, why would you want to do that, though? Well, there's several reasons. Uh, if you want to make a state that gives a lot of parameter changes or, say, it buffs your defense and your magic defense, so the character would go into a guard stance, uh, but it seems a little OP, well, all you'd have to do is maybe reduce their speed so they're slower when they're on that super powerful guard stance. So they're walking more carefully, so they're moving slower, but they also have like a big defense or magic defense bonus. So that's one reason why you'd want to use a negative speed. So in this case, we're drinking a, a potion. It's making us move faster, but it's also doing something else. It's increasing our attack speed. Um, and when I say increasing, I really mean decreasing, because if you remember in previous uh, episodes, we talked about how attack speed in the alpha ABS system is basically, uh, uh, it's kind of counterintuitive. The higher the attack speed, the more frames. So it's basically looking at attack speed as the number of frames required. So if we reduce the number of frames required to finish our attack off of our weapons, which we could look at that real quick, you see in our weapons we have an attack speed of 180. So this determines that this two-handed sword is going to take three seconds to swing. So if we wanted it to be faster, we would reduce the attack speed so it moves faster. So if we add a state that reduces our attack speed, we're effectively turning our three-second swing into a two-second swing, but still keeping all the parameter changes that the weapon's giving us. So in order to buff our speed, we have to actually go into here on attack and make this a negative number, which luckily the engine lets us have a set a negative number. So if we want to shave off one second, we just do 60 frames right off of that. And uh, that's basically it. Um, that'll give us the state for 30 seconds, giving us one second off the timer and, and letting us move around faster. The last thing we have to do is go to the item and add that state. 
And then when we use this item, it's going to uh, play the animation and add that state, which will last for uh, 30 seconds. So that's really basically it for the new um, the new items that I've added to the game and item, some ideas that you can use to change and put it in your game. Um, also, you can use name generators to create your own uh, names. I've added some new skills, but I'll, I'll talk about some more new skills in the next uh, episode. Um, also added some new enemies, the orc and a moss drake. So um, we'll talk about uh, some new enemies in the next one. Uh, next episode but that's going to do it for this uh, episode um, thank you guys so much for watching for those of you who want to see me run around and look at the progress the current state of the game um, i'll do that real quick for you if you want to get more involved with the community and uh, network with some people who uh, basically do the same thing you do they work on video games and whatever aspect of video games you can go to driftwithgaming.com and uh, that'll let you join the forums introduce yourself and network with some people uh, to get more involved with the community and maybe get yourself uh, hooked up with some people and get in a project, uh, working on a project that'll uh, maybe go somewhere. Who knows? If uh, at the least, it'll be a good learning experience, I would imagine. So, um, yeah, we in the the last part of this game here, we've uh, uh, the last thing I've done in this game rather is I've added some new skills and I've changed the way that I'm handling map changing. So in, in, instead of like most RPG Maker games where the camera follows the character, you know, the hero, I've made it so that basically the camera doesn't move very much at all. Um, I don't want to die here. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can loot these. Uh, while you're in battle, you can't change maps. But if you walk over a transport tile um, while you're not in battle, it'll take you to the next map. So you see that the characters moving around on the screen with using this map design, uh, not really so that, because uh, it's basically all determined by map size, right? So if we look at the, the size of the maps, they're just big enough to fit the screen with half of a tile in, in between the sides. So it, the camera will scroll, let me see if I have any items real quick. Eight, nine, okay, let's just do that. The camera will scroll if you look slightly from the left to the right. You see that little bit of scroll there? But that's about it. That's as much scroll as I want because I want the character to be able to walk around on the map without the camera like following it dead center. So I'm sort of going for that sort of like Legend of Zelda 1, you know, the original Zelda type thing where you walk across a map and then you have to go towards the edge of the map and then the map will scroll to the next the next area. Yeah, that's the map design for this. Um, also, um, some of the new skills I've added. Uh, we've got our rock throw, we've got our ignite, we've already talked about those, but we've got a new one, uh, Flash of Pain. It's, uh, I'm gonna die here. Um, it's a little bit weaker than um, Actually, I'm sorry. I was uh, panicking from, from about to die. It's a little bit stronger than the other spells, but it has a longer timer, uh, and it also takes more MP to use. So it's like a skill that you'll probably want to use uh, whenever you can and, and inside of a, a, a hard, harder fight. Um, other skills that I've added, um, the Bushido Focus, it's going to do some parameter changes, but it's also going to give us a 1% HP regeneration, so it takes 5 MP. And it's going to give us uh, 20 seconds of regeneration with a 30 second cooldown. And then I've also added a meditation. Really long cast because I don't want the player to actually have this, uh, be able to just spam this in the middle of a fight. But it's going to return 50 TP into 50 MP. So this will let the player continue to use their skills without wasting potions and stuff constantly. Um, yeah, and we've got our uh, lightning bolt cast, which has got a, a decent delay. It's not too long, it's just one second cast and one second delay, and it's like the middle ground. It's not uh, as weak as Rock Throw or Ignite. Um, it doesn't add a state like Ignite would do, so some would say that Ignite is probably better on harder fights. Um, but it does a little bit, it's like the middle ground between the Flash of Pain and the Ignite in damage scaling. 
But yeah, we'll get into all of the note tags on these skills in the next episode. That's going to do it for this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to seeing the updates on the game. Um, one last thing I'll show you is I did add a plugin. You may have noticed that there's names on top of the enemies. So how I did that, I'll put a link in the description below for that, is I've added another Yanfly plugin, the YEP underscore event mini label plugin, which uh, seems to work perfectly fine. All you have to do is add a note tag inside the, uh, as add a, a comment inside, a note tag inside of a comment inside of an event. There we go, Inception. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of uh, this Alpha ABS tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.